In this video, we will learn very important and dynamic formula offset. So what is offset is? Offset is that when you don't know the reference or you want to move from one cell to another with specifying some conditions, you don't want your reference to be static. It means to be dynamic. So let's begin what offset will do with just some simple example is there. Suppose I have a starting point is A4 and I want to move down this to this final destination. Suppose this is A4 and this is 100, 200 and 300 nodes are there. I want to collect this and how to go there. Suppose A4 is my starting point for this to go there. I have to move three rows down and then if I am at this point then I have to go three column right and then I will get to this destination in this destination I have to select this three rows data so how this offset work if you see the syntax of offset is first you have to give the reference and then you have to give the rows how many rows you want to move plus one means you are moving down minus one you are moving upward same way column and height and width means at the time you reach your destination what height and which you want to select it suppose if in this case height is means the uh, row height and width means the column height so let's begin i will typing that formula offset i will type here it's better offset now my starting point is a4 and how many rows I have to go down? I have to go three rows down. And how many columns I have to go right? It's three because if I have to go right, I have to show, uh, type in the plus sign, plus three. Otherwise, if I go to left, then I have to type minus three. Then I have reached now my this destination. I, I have to select here three database. So my height should be three. And my width by default, it cannot be zero. It should be one. But if I not enter anything, then it will be considered as one. So height and width are optional. If you don't enter it by default, it is considered as one and one. Bracket close. I will show you. Suppose I have not entered anything here. It has considered one and one. And so giving me only this value. But I want this all figures. So I will type here how many height I require. Three. And width one. So I am getting now this desired result. So now you are thinking where we can use this offset formula. So I think you can use this offset formula in any where where you want to make your formula dynamic. So let's learn where you can use in real life examples. So this is one example where I have some sales monthly database where I am updating monthly sales and whenever I have to update my other sale, I have to change this heading of sales data, but I have made it dynamic just see as soon as i enter the august data just see this august get changed if i entering september data this get changed if i am getting deleting this so it's like my da uh, data is dynamic so there's no chance of error up to which i have entered the sale my heading will remain the same so how this has worked so i have specify in that ki just see how many uh, value has been entered and specify up and then he will specify this month if any value is entered till this it will learn go through this and give me this month so i have used the counter formula there is a difference between count and count a count will give you only numeric value and count a give you numeric plus text so it's always better to give with count a formula here i will specify range here i will specify bigger value bigger range so that my formula will get dynamic so it give me that up to four rows data is entered if i entering this it's showing me that up to five row data is entered so by using this counter formula in offset i can specify which month to be choose so let's begin if i am typing offset now my reference this can be any starting point so right now i have to select month so make it simple i am selecting this cell a4 now how many rows i have to go down it so depend on how up to which cell value is entered so i will 
type a count a formula here for the row I have to go down I will type count a and the value is I will select this data till up to last range so that it will give dynamic comma and out when I have to go down is I have to move any column no so that way I will specify zero now my height in this case I just want to be specified this month only so height is only one width should be one so it can be taken as default as a one one so I will press enter here I just change to month format I get the required month here if I change add this data September data it get changed now I just have to add this in my this sales data I will just show you how you can add this now you can add this by using the formula you have to just before so you have this text center sales data till this if you add this to some other text you have to just first is equal to and then this text should be inverted comma and then and and is used for combining the other cell values so here I will select this cell D5 or instead of selecting this file it's always better to type the formula here so that you don't have to mention the formula anywhere is equal to inverted comma and my this formula offset but still it's not in the number format because in excel data store a number so i have to change this format of this so i will use the text formula where I, my return value is this and I want this to be in which format I want this to be MMM and YY and bracket close now I am getting my report as a dynamic as soon as I delete any data this can change I get this to choose so this is now is being dynamic data if I press even zero data here it will get it will identify zero is being entered so it giving me data till June this is one example very useful and you can uh, make it uh, everyone may get confused how it get changed how it getting dynamic now second example second is very useful example to get the YTD sales because YTD year YTD means year to date sale and so this is my database and when the year get changed I have to get start my date from this month only January it has to exclude last month last 12 month so how can this be achieved by using offset because cumulative sale will add after 3394 it will add the January data but I don't want it so we have to understand offset is a somewhat tricky formula so you have to try and try use this only after that you will become successful in that so you have to understand what you want you want that if you in the March suppose in the calendar wise that YTD sale require you have to go three step down and when you are in April four step down when you are December you want to get 12 step down and when you come into Jan you have to go just only one month down so if I type simple formula here I just remove all this thing so here what you want this all depend on the month if suppose it's a Feb if I convert this into a month I will able to get the figures that how much figure I go on to get down so suppose I am typing here offset I will select my starting point is this I have to because I required a sum of that I should start with sum then offset my reference is this point I want to make it relative reference because if I copy paste it will change to C4 and how many rows right now I don't want to move any rows how many column I don't want and height in this case it's all depend on month if I type minus this cell comma and my width should be 1 bracket close now see it's getting dynamic if I am the March it's coming into 605 now if let's check for Jan now it just changed for Jan so instead of typing the month formula here I will type here the month formula month 
of this. So it will give me that required result. So after December, my cumulative get changed because now month is one and he has started to doing this way. So this is for calendar financial year, but generally in India where the financial year start from April. So in this case, in the case of April, I want to move only not four step down, just one, minus one. In offset, one, zero, one, if I type here offset reference row I don't want to move column I don't know height if I even have mentioned one or minus one this doesn't matter it will remain the same because minus two means we have to move anywhere else. so that's why this minus month will work here minus two here go minus two step down one and two now just how to get the financial year in the case of April because here we have to understand how to understand when the, if there is an April he had just have to move there only if May it has to move two step only so for that I can use the choose formula where I can specify that when the month I will select for this what the desired result I want for April I want instead of 4 I want 1 only and for January I want it to be 11 or uh, 10 so here I will type 10 11 12 it is for January February March now for April 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 bracket close see now it is giving me the desired result which I want to confirm if in June it will go three step down, if in July it has to go four step down and when it come to April, just see the magic just one step down. So just add this formula in your offset function. I will type offset. My ref starting point is I have to start with sum is equal to sum offset. My start point is this. I don't want to move any call row and column. My height is depending on this formula. Choose. I have to specify with this minus because I want to move and the mic width is one. Even if I don't type, it will take as one. So my formula is now done. Let's just check. It's now cumulating. But as soon as I get into the April, change the path. It's just now cumulative. So by this way you can get YTD sale, you don't have to change the formula at each end of the financial year, your formula will remain the same and so what you are working for is now it's limited that if you have a debt of 10 years you have to change the formula and there may be chances you may get error there. So another third example is where you want some average sale for last 6 months with this data I want the sale, average sale for this last 6 months here. Yeah last six month here is 216 and if I enter some new value here so I want average sale for last six month so how to understand that to get to the last six month so we will just learn here I will type here offset now my starting point I want is to be the sales amount now how many rows he has to go down it's same way generally count a formula is better used in this i will use count a and then i will select this all row up to any value now he will understand how many rows just check if i just select this and press f9 i will get he has to go eight rows down one two three four five six seven eight eight now it's in the this this row and column I don't want to move now height I know going six step down so here the column is zero but height I will specify minus six and width by default is one so if I press enter it is give me this say last six month if new data is enter it will give me this uh, wait it has not updated because I have just changed this to F8 wait a minute I think I have to press F9 here dynamic count a I have to specify this bad range. Now this is dynamic. Now if I enter 100 here, 
it's getting to last six months now I suppose I required average here so for offset function I will use it with average bracket close so I am getting average of last six months let's been check it's 487 if this is being removed this is 216 it's right thanks for watching this video I think you like this offset function try to use this formula again and again where maybe you have to change your reference because uh, the, by this way you can make your formula dynamic this offset function is generally also used in your writing the macros where you have to specify how because in that case you can't use the uh, arrows marks you have to move through the formula so this is very important very less used formula try to understand this formula and try to use this thanks for watching this video